Hello everyone, Vicar Linda here. It's lovely to hear you and to see you again. So what happens at the beginning of our assemblies? We light our candle, don't we? So let's light it, shall we? So we also say a prayer, don't we? So let us pray. Lord God, as we light this candle, joining our prayers to those that have gone before, we ask your blessing on all of us and all whom we love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today we're celebrating rogation. Rogation is when we ask God for his blessing on the crops for a bountiful harvest. In the areas in which we live, crops and the harvest of them are different. For example, by the sea, the focus will be on fish. Around the hills and valleys of Wales, it will be mainly sheep, cattle and chickens that feed off the land and also the turnips that are grown to feed them. But has anybody thought about trees? In the churchyard of St Mary's Lanvareth, there's a yew tree that's 3,000 years old. Its trunk has split in several parts, so it no longer looks like a single tree, but many. Now, I've got a picture here of it, so let me show you. There we go. All right, can you see it? Now, this tree was around then when Jesus walked on the earth. How amazing is that? Now, there's something rather special about this tree. It's in a churchyard that's in a farmyard. Let me show you. Can you see those there and that there? They're the sheds. And just to prove that this church, uh, tree is 3,000 years old, here's the certificate. So we're rather proud of our yew tree. So I wonder who planted the seed that grew into the tree we see today? Perhaps it germinated naturally, or perhaps someone planted it in their garden before the church was built. Whatever way it got into the grounds of the churchyard, there will have been individuals who will have tended and cared for it. The people that tended this tree aren't alive now, but we actually get to see the fruits of their labours. Now, some seeds that are planted grow more quickly, such as carrots or beans, which my husband John has planted in our garden this week. They take less than a year, in fact, only a few months to grow from being a seed to when we are harvesting them. However, let's consider the idea of sowing seeds as seeing the results as an analogy. Can anybody tell me what an analogy is? You can always stop this video and start it again once you've had a discussion. That's right. An analogy is something that's seen as similar to or as a parallel to something else. For example, sowing seeds can be seen as an analogy for the hard work that the we devote to our daily activities, studies and relationships. So some of the things that we do will bear fruit. That is, they will produce a harvest. They will produce results. However, it may take many years before the results are actually evident. In fact, it may not happen in our lifetime, rather like the yew tree that is 3,000 years old. An example of this is Greta Thunberg, who raised awareness about climate change and how we treat our environment. We could say that she has planted seeds into people's minds about the importance of the environment, and some of those seeds are already producing results. 
Christians believe that God supports us and equips us for the hard work that we devote to our daily activities, studies and relationships. In farming, he equips the farmer with patience and the know-how how to breed crops, lambs, calves and chickens. So let's have our reading. You might want to stop this video and then start it again if somebody would like to do the reading themselves. And whoever does that reading, we must clap them to say well done. So a reading from Matthew 13, 1 to 8. Jesus went out and sat beside the lake. Great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now in our story, we have Jesus telling us about a sower and what happens to the seeds. Our action rhyme, which we're going to do in a minute, tells us a story about how the seeds grow and then we have something else after it. Now, this is where our story has stopped. However, our rhyming actions go that little bit further to see what the seeds actually do. So shall we now have our actions? Are you ready? This is my best bit, isn't it? Right, here we go. When I say Jesus, let's well you remember what we do don't you are you ready we punch the air so we say jesus now jesus didn't have tractors around when he was on earth so seeds were scattered by hand so when i say so let's pretend to scatter some seeds by hand so we do this all right and when I say grow, let's do the action like we did before of a seed growing into a tree. So it's that. All right. And when I say fruit, let's pretend we have an apple in our hand and we're going to take a bite out of it. Um. All right. So that's fruit. Well done. So let's have our rhyme and our actions. And I'm going to be using this Bible again. Are you ready? Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? A farmer went to sow his seeds, said Jesus, one fine day. He threw them here, he threw them there. He threw them every way. Now some seeds fell upon the path. They bounced and rolled along. So birds swooped down with hungry cries and swallowed them all down. Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground. Which will grow and which will not? And where will fruit be found? And some seeds fell among the rocks and they began to sprout, but withered in the shallow soil when the sun came out. Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? 
and some seeds fell among the weeds. They grew there side by side until the sharp thorns strangled them and every seedling died. Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? But some seeds fell on fertile ground and soon began to grow and gave good fruit a hundred times more than that was to, snow, to sow. Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? When Jesus's friends all came to him, questions in their mouths, we're puzzled by your story. Just what is it about? The seed stands for God's kingdom, Jesus then explained the ground is like the human heart no one's quite the same some hearts are like the hardened path and when they hear god's news they simply do not understand they walk away confused and that my friends is just the time the devil comes to play and much like all those greedy birds he steals the truth away some hearts are like the rocky ground. God's truth takes hold at first, but withers up when life gets hard and goes from bad to worse. Some hearts are like the thorny ground where worries weed-like grow and choke our peace and choke our joy till all the goodness grow, goes. But some are like the fertile ground and when God's truth takes root, it grows into a lovely tree, bursting rich with fruit. Sow, sow, sow your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? Well done. I enjoyed that, did you? Shall we now have our prayer? So let us pray. Dear God, we ask your blessing on the crops, harvest and livestock that give us food. We give thanks for our farmers and the hard work they do. We thank you for the ways in which our lives are producing fruits. We think about our positive achievements and the ways in which we show kindness and compassion to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, that comes to the end of our assembly. So we will blow our candle out. And if it's your birthday, you are very welcome to blow it out. And so let's blow it out, shall we? Happy birthday. Till next time, stay safe. Bye.